What up, beautiful peeps? It's your boy, Raj Rayma, and this is The Rayma Ray. All right, beautiful peeps, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here, I appreciate it. And you know, as you can see, I'm repping for our boys in red, those Raptors. It's playoff time right now. And um, hopefully, you are Raptors fans. All I can say is go Raps, go. Um, so for today's rant, today's topic was something I had at the back of my mind, but I wasn't going to do for, you know, probably a few weeks. But honestly, after this past month, day in and day out, I've heard people use the phrase, I'm going to rant about. And 50% of the time, it's good. But the other 50%, it's just annoying. And what is that phrase? That phrase is when people say, I want. Now, I know you're probably sitting there wondering, what the hell is wrong with this guy? How the hell could he be annoyed when people say, I want? It isn't the fact that I'm annoyed when they say it. It what follows after they say, I want something. You know, look, we're all human beings. We are bred with wants and desires. That's one characteristic that all human beings have. No matter what that want or desire is, we all have it. The difference between a lot of people is how badly they want that something or someone and the lengths at which they are willing to go through to achieve or get that someone or something. That's what annoys me. There are people that will just simply say, look, I want to, but the minute you said, but you don't really want what you say you want. If you're going to add a, but because if you really want something, you really go after it and you will get it. And there will be no excuse for you not to get it. Now, in some people's cases, that might be illegal for the majority of everyone. I hope it is legal, but look. Sometimes getting what you want takes sacrifice. You know, a big example that I can give and people have asked me about, and I've said it in many rants, is my weight loss. Look, I'm proud of it. That's why I constantly say it. I'm proud of my weight loss. I was 70 pounds heavier. That's like three of those big bags of flour. Imagine carrying that around with you. And I don't carry it around anymore. It takes a great effort to do that and fit it into your schedule and make it a part of your life. But I wanted to do that. I wanted to lose the weight extremely bad. You know, when I tell people some of the things I cut out, because, you know, most of it is like 80 to 90% of what you put in your body. You know, when I told them, hey, I limit potatoes and, I, you know, I really limit bread. They're like, what? But how? I love these things. I'll tell you how I did it. I love those things too. Potatoes and bread? Who doesn't? But let me tell you something. I love looking at the person in the mirror and realizing that I love them back. At one point, I did it. But now I do. And I will sacrifice any piece of potato or bread any day for that. Now, mind you, I'm not no skinny guy, but... I ain't a super fat guy like I used to be either. And I'm proud of that because it took a lot of hard work, dedication, determination, and I got through. Look, the whole thing that annoys me is when people say they want something, but then they add a but after. Like, look, you don't really want it that bad. And the road to getting things that you want or you want to achieve, you got to say it first. But then you got to have a discussion with yourself to see what you're really willing to sacrifice in order to get it. Because let's be honest, if what you're doing currently, what got you, what you wanted, then you already have it and you wouldn't want it. But it's apparent you don't have it, you want it. So there's got to be some sort of change in your life. And that's called a sacrifice. So you gotta be honest with yourself. Forget about anyone else. Be real with yourself and honest with yourself. 
And if you always start off something by saying, I want, but, in the luscious words of DJ Khaled, congratulations, you just played yourself. All right, y'all, look, I could rant about this topic forever. And there's probably many other points I could cover, but to be honest, I think I got the main point across. I understand we're in this time of entitlement, but understand this. No one or this life owes you anything. And if you are going to constantly say, I want, but guess what? It doesn't matter what you want. And with that, I'd like to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for making it to the end of this rant. I really do appreciate it, y'all. But you know what? These are just my views and opinions on this topic. And maybe, just maybe, you agree or disagree or have something to add. But how am I gonna know unless you let me know? And how do you do that? Well, you could start by first liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Or you can hit us up at these places. Rated and Studios at gmail.com, our Facebook fan page at Rated and Studios Inc., our Instagram accounts at rraymo one or at Rated and Studios. For what we always hope and pray for, please, 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 like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com/slash Rated and Studios. Well, y'all. We've come to the end of the rant. And all I can say is, if you really want something, understand it's going to take some work and probably some sacrifice. And if you ain't willing to do that, you don't really want it that bad. And yeah, that's the truth. Anyways, y'all, until the next rant, be well. Deuces!